Oh my God, the magic happens. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a superstar here. We have Dr. Tashi here. Hey, Claude. Hello, everyone. How are you? Oh, Fine. wow. You I'm, yes. I'm so amazing. honored to have you on. Tell everybody what wow. you're doing and where, when you do it. Um, so I am the host of a show called Mediascope, and I talk all about media tech and pop culture news every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern on Periscope, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, and WJMSRadio.com. And my producer and I also do another show called And We're Live, and that's actually where we teach people to do this, use video and live stream for their business and beyond. So, yeah. And you are, and you are, you exemplify exactly what we're talking today about. We were talking about great talk show hosts and oh and thank you <laughs> you are just, you come on the screen and you have this one charisma that was the word charisma, could, okay. charisma. charisma. You have, charisma. yes you have, a, you have a beautiful smile and you're real relaxed thank you. and i know you prepare your show before you do it because you oh, have, yeah. and everything but you're very real what's the word you're very relaxed how important is it because you teach media yeah how do yeah. you how do you teach people to be themselves and to just be the relaxed, comfortable in their own skin? You know, I think that people look at this type of thing in public speaking because I've been teaching public speaking for 19 years now. And they look at it as a big, ominous conversation with a bunch of people. So I tell them, you're just having a conversation with me. Don't mm -hmm. worry about any, everybody else. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Um, there's also something called the mom rule. Like if you were explaining something or talking to your mother about something, would you read it like a newscaster or would mm. you say, yeah, no, I had a really great day today. I had apples. I had bananas. They were tasty. I shared that, you know, you would have a casual like conversation, right? So think mm -hmm. about talking with, if not your mother, somebody that, you know, you would have a normal, regular conversation with, and then think about you and one other person if it's too intimidating to think about all the other people. That's yeah. what I say, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think being yourself, being relaxed, I think in the beginning we're all, and you said public yeah. speaking, I yeah. think one of the best things somebody can do who's a little self-conscious or nervous is to take, uh, uh, what's the name of that? There's a great course, um, is it uh, Toastmasters? Toastmasters? Toastmasters, yeah, to the Toastmaster right. Clubs, yeah. 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 And Toastmasters. One of the books. One of the books they also teach is, of course, as you're speaking, I'm thinking of Dale Carnegie. Oh, how to win friends and influence people. It's one of the first books they teach you in public speaking because it's it's developing that likability. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And it's funny that you say that because when you teach it, like I've been teaching it on the university level and academically it's approached very differently than when I, not even lay people, but when other people speak and sometimes it's too academic and too technical. And I look at my, nobody does this in real life. So I just, you know, kind of adjust <laughs> for what happens in real life. I don't give a damn what they told me to teach. Right. This is what I'm teaching. How, how long has that book been around? How long um, has that book been around? It's oh been gosh, for it's years. Since, yeah, since yeah. That, you know, has it even been a hundred years yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to. Oh my God! And it's a great book. It's one of my favorite uh, favorites. Uh, Win friends and influence people. Yeah. I had a lot of trouble public speaking. I was. It was one of the scariest things I ever had to face. I can't believe it. I had to get my business up and running when I first started. Mm. And I think, and it's still, I think it's, um, uh, Tashi, maybe you'll agree or disagree, but I think public speaking is one of the yeah. best marketing tools in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's also one of the biggest fears yeah. behind the fear of heights. Public mm. speaking is second. Yeah. Right. So um, those people who know how to master public speech, this is why, have you ever noticed that there are people who just spew rubbish, but they have a bunch of followers? It's because they've mastered the art of speaking well. <laughs> the art of persuasion. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. But there's talking rubbish, a whole yeah. bunch of nonsense. Yeah. But people are like, yes, I don't know what the yeah. hell she said, but yeah. yes. Yes. You know, so mm. uh, there mm. is a power in it. Oh, yeah. Someone has to explain the Kardashians to me. They, <laughs> they, have, they have created an empire by showing us their horrible lives. <laughs> because we want to see their horrible lives. That, yes. that, that's the thing. 
we are very enamored by celebrity because I, mean, I can't remember the name of the individual, but the person who was on Mediascope, um, Troy, who was on Mediascope mm. on Wednesday, he, we interviewed him for the podcast that I do. And I can't remember who he said it was, but he said, you know why they're called stars? And it was one particular individual in Hollywood who wanted them called to be called stars because stars are kind of untouchable. They're mm. ethereal. You can't get to them. Mm. So that's why they're called, you know, stars. And because wow. we find them untouchable and ethereal, we want to know more. So we're mm. so enamored by everything celebrity. We really are. Yeah, wow. what are they going to wow. say next? Oh my God, did they really just say that? Or it's controversial, or yeah. God forbid, it's entertaining. It makes you laugh, or it exactly. draws you in. And I think that's a real skill set yeah. to develop Definitely. Uh, Definitely. with it. Um, Toastmasters is a great public speaking. Um, it took me a while. I uh, one of the books I read. Uh, Claudia actually found me a book. I think it was at a garage sale. It was by Dale Carnegie. Uh, it, well, very one of his uh, not popular books. It was called Public Speaking. Yes, mm. and I read that. I read, and it was an old, tattered, uh, material-covered book, and she and it was brilliant. Mm. Um, mm. And I read this, and you know about being comfortable and relaxing, and knowing speaking on topics that you've researched that you know about. Yes, uh, and just yes. to be, you know, what, there's a wonderful thing. Everybody's a little anxious or nervous when they're speaking in front of an audience, whether it's on mm. Zoom or uh, Zoom or, or in front of a live audience. And mm. after that, you ever notice this, Tashi? After five minutes, the anxiety goes away and you get in that zone, you're comfortable and you're intermingling with the audience. And, and you can, that's the thing about the difference, I think, between being in person and a live audience when you're speaking in front of a couple hundred people or when you're on Zoom. You know, <laughs> when you get that feedback, when they're laughing, when they're interacting, they're asking questions. Mm. And I mean, I love that. Today, I actually love it. I look forward to it. It's 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 the best feeling in the world. And I think because of teaching um, and then acting that I've been used to being in front of audiences. So I don't, like I had the apprehension when I was little, but once I got to high school, I was like, where's the microphone? Yeah, and talk had, to me. Yeah, yeah, I had no problem yeah. because I was used to it by that point. Mm. So and the, mm. the way you get used to it is to continuously expose yourself to presentation and speaking situations. It may yeah. not be comfortable. It may not be fun. But that's the only way you get used to it and start to lessen the anxiety. Mm. Yeah. You, you, said a, you said a word here that really piqued my my. You said acting. Yeah. Uh, I, I talk a lot. Thespian. About, I talk a thespian, not a dirty yeah. word. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I think, and to a lot of people, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, be a good actor? And when I say I, I, I talk about creating an environment where people are interested to interact and they feel relaxed, and I mean, not to manipulate, but to make them comfortable. Yes. And how important? How important? You, you're a media expert. How important is it to? How does acting fit into all this? Wow. Well, you know, acting, that's actually a form of communication as well. Mm -hmm. So all of this kind of factors together. And what I tell people, so years ago, uh, back when uh, Will and Grace was on the first time, Deborah Messing was on Oprah. So this goes back a ways and said that her one of her biggest fears was public speaking. So I asked my students, but she's in front of people all the time. She's constantly, you know, she's on a major show. Why do you think this is a problem? And they couldn't figure it out. Or why, the, how do you think she's able to get through it? Mm. And I said, because she's acting. Mm. When you are acting, you're playing a character. Mm. So if you think about yourself as the best public speaker in the world or the most adept salesperson in the world, mm. and you put that, you kind of speak it into existence. It's like yeah. Pygmalion effect and it becomes so. Mm. At least for you, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's very important to incorporate that that acting. The, the theater helps. It also helps. That's probably why I'm so damn loud, too. Because mm. I've been taught <laughs> to project to the back of the room. Oh, yeah. yeah. With it's, it's, actually, it's echoing in here. It's echoing. Uh, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. I'm, I'm loud. No. Uh, I, no. I noticed that you, you also use your hands a lot. I do. Mm. We're all we're all a little bit Italian here. Can I use a yeah. story? <laughs> well, well, I'm African. I'm Nigerian. Yeah. So 
Nigerian mm. people use their hands all the time for everything oh, wow. they're doing to make emphasis yeah. on the thing they're talking. So Nigerians always <laughs> do that. Then. Isn't that just good body <laughs> language? When you go to when your person is talking and you go, "Wow, that's really mm. you lean forward." Yes. Yeah. Yes. Before, but if you sit yes. back here, yeah, like that with those little stink face and your arms crossed and everything, I think you can. That's why I love communicating with people on this live stream media. Because you can really see if someone's fought. You know what's the worst thing in the world, public speaking, by the way? Someone in the front row starting to. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. Is All that right. That's why <laughs> I, was like, you had, I know you You throw a bowl of Joel off at him. Huh? You just. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> ah, no, you don't waste good jollof rice. So if you don't know, um, uh, Claude and Jose, uh, jollof rice is um, a very popular rice in West Africa. Each country, like Senegal, has its version of it. It's called Chebujen. They do jollof rice in Ghana. They do jollof rice in Nigeria. And in fact, there is like a, they call them the jollof wars oh, as to yeah. who makes <laughs> the best jollof rice. Ooh. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, it's I'm, delicious. I'm getting yes. hungry here. What's everybody having for dinner tonight? Speaking of food, before we go, I always like to talk about food. Why do I like to talk about food? Because I think food is very sensual, very emotional. You know, oh, if, you know. If I we're having pizza tonight, my wife makes great pizza. You know, with the, the cheese is all hot and everything, and you bite into it, and it's and a little glass of wine on the side and everything. Uh, what's, everybody, what's everybody thinking right now? Oh, it's eating. Get some of that good cheesy oh, pizza. Yeah. When, Tashi does, when Tashi does her uh, uh, broadcast, she always has everybody do the emojis. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to tune in. You say Please Wednesday, do. 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to have you. And you're in Atlanta. I have, but before COVID, I am actually the director for a talk show that we're pitching up there. So I'm in Atlanta a lot oh, uh, wow. because of yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd love to have you as part of the Media Scope family. Claude is like a, a member extraordinaire, part mm. of the Media Scope Council. We have a mm. lot of fun, so we'd love to have you guys. I don't know if you could drop your link in the chat or whatnot, but I'm 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 yeah. gonna definitely tune in. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Are you, if you're watching, I don't know if you our guys are also watching on a platform, but I'll put it in um, on a platform. Okay, how about I? Uh, <laughs> to lower that. But yeah, I can put it in. Uh, where should I put it, uh, Claude? Um, what, what are you on right now? Uh, oh, wait, you're in StreamYard. I'm uh, in StreamYard, but I can put it in Facebook or Periscope or whatever yeah, you want. Put it, in, put it in, or just tell me and I'll put it in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I am w -W -W. at um, yeah. the Facebook is facebook.com slash mediascope 1616. Mm -hmm. So if you go to that page, you can watch it on Facebook. Okay. If you are a Periscope watcher, I am at T A C H I A D A at Tachiata, and that that's also Twitter. So you can watch it in my Twitter feed as well, mm. or you could just listen on WJMSRadio.com. Yeah, well, there we go. This lady is so wonderful. She keeps me oh, cool. She gives you. me the best <laughs> pop culture, whatever's going on in the world, the things we. Yeah. Do. How do you? Last question, because I really have to go in a minute. And, sure. Uh, what? How do you pick the stories that you pick? You always know how to pick the best stories, how do, out of all the stuff in the news and everything. And you, you try to stay apolitical, which I like. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I like to bring people together, not tear them apart. How, right. do you, how do you pick those wonderful stories you always do? You know, I I get about. I think I have about a hundred newsletters that I get every day, which is why my email is always so full. And out of them, I just, I don't know. I just kind of feel, you know how you kind of feel things where I look at something, I'm like, they're not mm. going to be interested. That is interesting, but I could use that. I can put that in my social media feed mm. and people can read it there. But mm. cause we only have an hour, <laughs> which we always go over, but um, yeah, I'm like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, because it's so much fun talking to people that you always end up going over, right, Claude? Yeah, so I, I do, yeah, That's yeah. It. So I just really go with the feeling of what I think people would be interested in, what I see. Like I pay attention to you guys, like what you're saying in the chat, and I'm like, all right, well, they may like this if I put it in there. So I pay attention, and then a lot of you will send me stories like, hey, did you hear about this? Oh, well, thank you, because I don't know everything. So I love when people send me stories. Yeah. 
And you mm. and you pick great stories, really topical. Every Wednesday at five or six o'clock on uh, six p.m. Eastern, three p.m. Pacific. There we go. There yeah. we go. Great, ladies and gentlemen, oh, what a surprise to have you on with us, Doctor T. Thank you for having me. And Jose and uh, thank Nehemiah you. Harvard, thank you so much for joining us. This is a fast hour, isn't it? It goes real quick. We had nothing. To, we had nothing to talk about, right? Nothing but love. Nothing, nothing but love. Thank you all. Thank hey, you again. Love to all you guys have a wonderful, safe, happy weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just remember, as I always end, nobody deserves success more than you, good people. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.